<laughs> Since you Christians love God so much, I'd say it's about time you met him. <laughs> Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got myself into this situation. Well, it all started two days ago when my mom woke me up for school. Oh boy! I can't wait to see what lessons Dad has planned for us today! Yeah. Uh-huh. Teachers always trying to tell you what to do Sit down, listen up, required reading Nancy Drew Man, why is school always such a drag? One more lecture and I think I'm gonna gag So I sit at my desk and I doodle So I don't get sick and throw up some toaster strudel And just when I'm about to drift off in a daydream I hear a gunshot and a scream Everybody hit the floor Try to barricade the door Is it a mental health issue? Let's just hope the bullets miss you Everybody hit the floor Try to barricade the door Is it a mental health issue? Good morning everyone! Good morning, Good morning. monkey! Good morning, class! Good, Good morning, morning, Mr. E. Rich. Rich! Now, class, we have something very exciting happening today. We're being joined by a new student. Please turn your attention to the front door and welcome your new classmate! Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got myself into this situation. Well, it all started when I got expelled from every other school in the country because they thought I wanted to shoot up the place. To be fair, they were right. Well, here we are. Welcome to your 45th first day of school this semester. I don't get it, Dad. Why the fuck do I have to go to some stupid-ass Christian school being run out of some guy's living room? Because it's the only school left in the country that would accept you, Vincent. Can't you just send me to that satanic boarding school in Norway? We've been over this. The Mephistopheles Academy of Higher Learning's tuition fees are downright evil. Now you go to that Christian school, and you like it or you know where you're going. Fuck you, Dad! I'm glad Mom divorced you and now you write about wanting to commit suicide every night in your secret diary that I found while stealing money from your safe! <laughs> yup, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got myself into this situation. Well, it all started when my wife divorced me a year ago. Apparently, she's hypersensitive to dysfunctional families, and being around the two of us made her physically ill. So now I'm left raising the shittiest son in the universe all by myself. I don't know what to do about him, Melissa. He's been kicked out of every school I send him to because they're afraid of him. You know, it'd be really nice if I had a loving, supportive wife to help me raise our delinquent son! Hello? Oh. oh, god damn it! God damn it! I was at my wit's end, so I did what I always do when I need to relax. I sat down to watch a half hour of my favorite television program. It was then, during the commercial break, that I saw what appeared to be the answer to my prayers. Are you tired of your kids being shot to death in a public school? Do you have a child who doesn't belong in the public school system? Well then, the Mr. Erich School of Christian Teaching is the school for you. Here at my school, we teach troubled students the principles and values of our Lord Jesus Christ. Here at my school, oh, fuck, that's the wrong goddamn whether your student is a bully or a victim, we all come together as one because our father is God. 
My wife and I have transformed our living room into a private school unlike no other. And now we are ready to transform your child into a happy, studious, morally righteous child of God. But don't take my word for it, just ask our students. My dad is the best teacher I've ever had. Well, except for the Holy Bible, of course. At my old school, I got suspended for saying I wanted to rape my teacher. But now the only person I want to rape is Satan. I used to get bullied by all my classmates, but then my parents transferred me to Mr. Evich's school. Now I only get bullied by most of my classmates. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got myself into this situation. Well, it all started when I used to get bullied by all my classmates, but then my parents transferred me to Mr. Evich's school, and now I only get bullied by most of my classmates. Anyway, then, one day, a new student named Vincent showed up. Everyone say, Hello, Vincent! Hello, Vincent! <laughs> Alright, Vincent, come to the front of the room so everyone can get to know you. Yeah, I'd rather stay back here so you can all pretend I don't exist. Don't be shy. This isn't just a classroom. This is a family. And you're our new brother. All right, everyone, introduce yourself to Vincent. I'm Monkey Jones, and even though I'm homeschooled by my very religious parents, I'm definitely not brainwashed. I'm Jumpy Moans, and religion has cut my constant masturbation down by 3%. Alexa is the name. Schooling fools like you on the b-ball court is my game. Hi, my name is Fabulous Feline. Okay, who has a question for Vincent? What's your favorite book of the Bible? Who do you think has a bigger dick? God or Jesus? Do you believe that all robots go to heaven? I don't believe in any of this stupid shit because I'm not a Christian. I'm an atheist. <sighs> Golly, your father told me you were a problem child, but he didn't tell me it was this bad. How can you not believe in God? What are you, retarded? Just because you're ugly doesn't mean God doesn't exist. I can't wait for you to kill yourself so that I can laugh while you burn in hell. Well, don't worry. That's what you're here for. Through the teachings of Christ Almighty, we can fix you. Take this chair. Please sit six feet away from me. Don't come near me, you freak. No atheists allowed in the front, fuck boy. Go sit in the back next to that loser fabulous feline. You degenerates deserve each other. Hey, it's nice to meet you, Vincent. It's nice to meet you, too. On opposite day. <laughs> oh. Well, I never really told anyone this. But I'm an atheist, too. Really? Huh. All right, class, it's recess time. Be back in your seats in 30 minutes, or you'll burn in hell with Charles Darwin. Smoking will kill you, you know. My daddy told me that smoking is super uncool. Well, yeah, why the fuck else do you think I do it? I can't wait until I breathe my final breath on this shithole planet. Besides, what do you care about being cool anyway? What kind of faggoty ass cat would give a fuck about being cool? I guess so. You wanna know what's crazy, Vincent? Not really. I've been at this school for three months and this is the most that anyone's ever talked to me during recess. Is that so? 
I've been bullied and hated by everyone all my life. This school was supposed to be different, but it's not. I've always found these Christians to be so hypocritical. They act like going to heaven will be the greatest thing ever, but they're all so afraid of dying. And they always weep in despair when their loved ones die. It's like they're actually sad that Grandma is now in eternal paradise. And these same people who are preaching to us about kindness and belonging are the ones who are actively ostracizing us and treating us like shit. It makes me so angry how everyone treats me so poorly, even my own parents. You're telling me. My bitch of a mom has been trying to convince me that my father doesn't love me. I mean, what kind of a sociopathic parent would do something like that? You were a little on the chin for that one. What? Don't you mean on the nose? No, that was definitely on the chin. What the fuck? I'm actually waiting to pick him up right now, dear. You know, I'm picking up our son at his Christian private school. Something supportive parents do? Oh, oh! Well, have you know I've got an M9 pistol and an AR-15, so I've got plenty of options for killing myself. Hello? Hello? God! Hey, son, how was your first day? It was fucking horrible, and everyone treated me like shit. I don't want to go back there. Ah, oh, son, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, uh, here's a $20 bill. This should probably somehow make you feel better. Ah, uh, son, I've been thinking it over. And if you get kicked out of this school... I'm gonna have to send you to military school? MILITARY SCHOOL?! What, you've left me no choice?! But they'll take away my cigarettes! And my satanic prayer candles! Well then you better make sure you don't get kicked out of this school too, Vincent! <laughs> oh, my sweet boy! I know how important those candles are to you! Now come on, let's go home! I need your help getting Daddy's big boy toys in the attic! Daddy's got a date with God! <laughs> I miss you! I miss your mom! Class, I have reached an impasse of moral integrity. Yesterday, after Vincent uttered the A-word in our classroom, I suffered a moment of spiritual calamity. So last night, I turned to the word of the Lord for guidance. And I came across 2 John, verse 9. Everyone who goes on ahead and does not abide in the teachings of Christ does not have God. Whoever abides the teaching has both the Father and the Son. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this teaching, do not receive him or give him any greeting, for whoever greets him takes part in his wicked works. It's right there in black and white, folks. This school has been built on a foundation of devil worship. We have forsaken God by allowing those who do not believe in him into our home, which is why today I'm giving you, Vincent, an ultimatum. If you are not a devout Christian by tomorrow morning, you will be expelled from this school. Oh, fuck me. What are we gonna do, Vincent? If they kick you out of this school, I'll be back to having no friends again. And even worse, I'm gonna be shipped off to military school where my every waking moment will be filled with more agony than ever before. You just gotta pretend. Just pretend you're a Christian and everything will be fine. If pretending to be something you're not was so easy, I'm pretty sure six million less Jews would have died in the Holocaust. No, I can't pretend. I'd honestly rather die than betray my atheist principles. It sounds like you'd rather die either way. Yes. 
Yes, I would rather die. And I want to take them all with me. What are you talking about? Fabulous feline, haven't you ever wanted to get revenge on the people who hurt you? Haven't you ever wanted to hurt them back? Well, yeah. But my daddy says that revenge is super uncool. My father purchased two guns yesterday, and they're just sitting in my attic completely unlocked and unguarded. Think about it, fabulous feline. It could be the perfect win-win situation. Those barbaric fools think that when they die, they'll go to paradise. So we could do them the favor of killing them, while at the same time getting our righteous vengeance. It's so perfect. What do you say? Well, Vincent, it sounds like you're gonna leave the school either way. And I figure I don't have anything to live for, regardless of what happens. And I do want to see those hypocrites pay for the way they treated me. Let's do it. Well, class? It looks like Vincent made his choice. He had until today to become a devout Christian, and he didn't even show up for school. What a pity. And it looks like that retard fabulous feline dropped out with him. Hell yeah! Good riddance. I think to celebrate, we'll read everyone's favorite Bible story, the hilarious cave adventure of Lot and his wacky daughters. Hooray! Hey, sorry that we're late. God called, and he wanted to let you all know that he doesn't exist. Hey, those aren't allowed in here. Can't you read the sign? This is a gun-free zone. <laughs> Since you Christians love God so much, I'd say it's about time you met him. <laughs> Holy shit! Quick, somebody make a prayer. There's no use! God won't be able to hear us over the gunfire! Where the heck is my Bible? Surely there's an answer in there! It's over on the bookshelf, but there's no way you're gonna make it! Oh, I'll make it! Because I hold the Lord in my heart! <laughs> what? Where am I? Is this heaven? That's right, my boy. You were killed in that school shooting. Oh, wow! God, I can't believe it's really you! Uh, wait, uh, where's my father? Uh, he died in the shooting, too. Oh, he's burning in hell. That creepy fucker was sleeping with one of his students. Ah, oh, heck. I knew Alexa was cheating on me. Well, geez. I guess all my classmates will be joining us soon, huh? Not necessarily, monkey. You see, I'm sick and tired of all these atheist school shootings. I keep sitting here, watching them happen, doing nothing about it. A lot of people at this point doubt if I even exist. They're thinking, what are you doing just sitting there on a cloud and jerking off watching these kids die? Just Beating your meat to these kids dying? You get off on it? Does it give you your godly jollies? And I say yes, but I'm sick of it. I've come too many times to watching kids die. So now it's time to fix things. Monkey Jones, I'm gonna send you back to Earth to save your friends. And Monkey Jones stops a school shooting. Oh boy, Mr. God! I would like that a lot! But how would I stop him? Well, my friend, the only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is with love! Give it a try! Okay, I will! <gasps> Holy shit, monkey! You're alive! I am! And soon we all will be! Vincent, 
fabulous feline. Listen to me. Hmm. I thought for sure that would work. No, wait. There's a typo in the Gospels. What it actually says is, the only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Oh, yeah, that makes way more sense. <sighs> hey, losers! After God called you, he called me. And God, the person who called, wanted to say that he does exist. Oh, fuck. Holy shit! Monkey, you did it! You stopped a school shooting! Monkey Jones stops a school shooting! Yup, and it was all thanks to God. And this gun. Let's go for ice cream. Wait, I just received an email from the President of Canada. He heard about your heroism and he wants to congratulate you. Wow, the President of Canada? Let's take a look. Hello, Mumkey. This is the President of Canada. I would like to congratulate you for stopping this... Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got myself into this situation. Well, it all started. Ocean man, take me by the hand, lead me to the land that you understand. <laughs> that's the gayest kiss I've ever had! <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't that bad. I don't know what the I don't know what the straights are complaining about. You know That's what I'm the saying? Way I kissed Jackie. I'm fucked up in the head now. I can't wait to watch that. Is that funny? Did that look funny? Yeah, it was funny. Could you see my tongue, or was I doing that for no reason? Your tongue technique is like a fucking ambush. I didn't know we were doing a genuine kiss. I thought we were just going fucking crazy. <laughs> well, that, uh, that's a wrap, folks. Let's go home. Land. Yeah. Uh huh. Teachers always try to tell you what to do. Sit down, listen up. Required reading, Nancy Drew. Man, why is school always such a drag? One more lecture, and I think I'm gonna gag. So I sit at my desk and I doodle. So I don't get sick and throw up some toaster strudel. And just when I'm about to drift off in a daydream, I hear a gunshot and a scream. Everybody hit the floor. Try to barricade the door. Is it a mental health issue? Let's just hope the bullets miss you. Everybody hit the floor. Try to barricade the door. Is it a mental health issue? Let's just hope the bullets miss you. Listen up, cause I'm about to get me technical With our Columbine efforts, we can keep the sensical Run and hide to keep still as a stoneman Avoid all the fire like a 64 Roman Take a desk and create a Fort Hood Stick together like an Umpqua tribe should Check your pulse and be sure to remain calm This red leg they make just won't last long Everybody hit the floor Try to barricade the door Is it a mental health issue?